So to begin, we're going to join in our white, or this is my ivory yarn, and we're going to work in any one of these four corners. You can start in any one that you would like. And these are our chain four spaces. So to begin, I just grab my yarn with my hook and I pull it up. I wrap both yarns, both ends, around and pull them up and pull it up till my tail pops through. And then I just tighten down on that tail. And then I can use my working yarn, which is the yarn that's attached to the skein or the ball of yarn. And I can pull down on that and adjust it as needed. So we're going to work a beginning cluster, and then the rest are all exactly the same. So the beginning cluster starts with chaining three. So we've got one on our hook, two, three. And then we wrap our yarn going into the space. Wrap our yarn, pulling up a loop tall. Wrap our yarn, pull through two. Wrap your yarn going into the space, pulling up a loop tall wrap, pull through two, you've got a total of three. So beginning clusters have three loops on the hook. Wrap, pull through all three. Now we're going to chain four. We've got one, two, three, and four. And then we just work a regular cluster stitch, which is wrapping our yarn, going into the space, pulling up a loop tall, wrap, pull through two, wrap, going into the space, pulling up a loop tall, wrap, pull through two, and one more time. So we've got a total of four. We're going to wrap, pull through all four, and then we're going to chain two. One, two. Now we're to a chain two space, and we're going to do three double crochets. So you just go into the space, wrapping your yarn around your hook, going into the space, and that's that space in between both clusters. Wrap, pulling up a loop, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two, and again. Wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. We're going to have a total of three. So one more, wrap your yarn, going into the space, wrap your yarn and pulling up a loop, you have a total of three. Wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. Now we're going to chain two, so we've got one, two, and we're back to a chain four space. We're going to work two clusters with four chains in between. So working your cluster, one more, pull through all four, and chain four, one, two, three, four, and work another cluster. Pulling up tall, pull up tall, and we're going to chain two. Oops, lost my loop. So what we're doing is, is we've got our corners here with our little heart looking stitches and then we've got three double crochets in the center. So we're back to a chain two space here in between these two clusters. And so we do three double crochets. So that's one. Two. And three, and we chain two. One, two, and then we're back to a chain four space here, the corner. So we do two clusters. We start with one cluster, pulling our stitches up tall. And chaining four, one, two, three, four, and another cluster. And chaining two. 
back to a chain two space. So we're going to work three double crochets. That's one, two, and three. Chaining up two, one, two. Back to a corner. So we do our cluster stitch. Oops. Okay, chaining four, one, two, three, four, and another cluster. And chaining two, last space is three double crochets. And chaining two, we're going to slip stitch. This was our original chain. And we're just going to grab the top of that. See that little V stitch there? And we're just going to pull it through and pull it through. And that completes that round. So we've got our chain fours here between these clusters and that creates our next row of corners.